Hey you guys, I wanted to show you a quick video real quick of how I take a bracelet, turn it into this end, a loop, so that way you can add on a plastic buckle or whatever kind of buckle. I actually have a bracelet here, a finished product of what I did, where I took a plastic buckle on both the ends and this whole bracelet is peyote stitch and then when I was done I peyote stitched this little band right here stuck it in between that little buckle and then sewed it back together I did that on both sides and so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to show you how I did that here Here's the funny part though. I don't even have a buckle right now. So I'm just going to basically show the steps and how I did it and how I would go about doing it. So what I would do, this is all peyote stitch. And I'm almost to the end. So I'm getting to the point where I would get ready to sew it back onto the bracelet to create that loop. So I didn't want not having a buckle to be the reason that stopped me from doing this video because it still can be done so I created this all the way down to the end to the length that I wanted it and now what I would end up doing is going back and the the thing about this is you want to try to find how the beads are actually placed so that they're right so if I go into this bead right here and when I sew it it's going to be like that zigzag so from this bead to that bead to that bead, that bead, that, that, that. Okay. So I'm going to take it, go in like that. I'm going to go ahead and sew into the next bead. Got to get this out my way. Okay. And then go into this bead down here. Go ahead and pull that out. Now, I'm gonna go into this bead. I'm gonna go into the next bead, which will be right here. And then this one. Right. So that will be the start of how I create this loop. And then what I would end up doing is I would go back and reinforce and then I'll come back and then I'll come back over here. And then I just like to go around some more beads rather than just the same ones over. Cause after you repeatedly, repeatedly go through those beads, you get less and less space. So me, I like to go through a couple of other beads around there just to be able to get it more solid and solidified. And even though I didn't have a buckle, this is how you would do that and you would slide that buckle on before you attach it. And then you just go on ahead and reinforce by sewing back through all of these beads over here. And then you got it. And then the bracelet will turn out like this. <laughs> 